Microsoft Office Excel 2007 has been redesigned to make it simpler and more efficient, so you can get work done faster. Let me show you. Let's start with the most obvious new feature, this wide bar at the top, the ribbon. It contains several tabs, such as this one. Just click any tab to see commands grouped together by the task or area they relate to. With the new design, everything you use most frequently is at the surface where you need it. This makes new or previously untapped features really easy to discover, too. So let's take a closer look at the different tabs. The Home tab has the commands you use most often. Here's Cut, Copy, and Paste, plus all the formatting commands, like Font and Alignment, and the commands to insert or delete cells, rows, columns, and sheets. We'll revisit this tab in a minute. The Insert tab is where you go to, well, insert things like pivot tables or charts. The Page Layout tab is where you go to prepare your worksheet for printing. Here you can change page margins, orientation, and other printing options. If you're working with formulas, the Formulas tab lets you select functions, such as AutoSum, Financial, and Logical, as well as work with named cells and do formula auditing. The Data tab is where you go to get external data into Excel. To auto-filter, to convert text to columns, to do data validation or what-if analysis, or to outline data. The Review tab is one-stop shopping for adding comments and protecting or sharing your workbook. And finally, the View tab is where you control how the worksheet looks on your computer. Here, you have a choice of views. You can hide or display grid lines, hide or display the formula bar, and over here, you can freeze parts of your worksheet or work with multiple worksheet windows. You decide what works best for your situation. Now let's look at the area below the ribbon. It's the same worksheet layout you're used to. You can work in these familiar surroundings or switch to the new page layout view. Notice that you see rulers and margins now, and if you scroll around, you see the different pages of the worksheet. Page layout view is like a combination of print preview, page setup, and normal view, so that you can build your worksheet and see how it will look when printed, all at the same time. If you prefer normal view, you can easily switch back using the button on the view tab or using the button on the handy View Toolbar down here. Let's go back to Page Layout View for now. I'm going to switch to a worksheet I've already started. Let me go back to the Home tab because most of the commands I need are all together here. Let's see. I'd like the column titles to stand out more. So I'll select that row, and then in the Styles group, I click Cell Styles to use one of these ready-made styles. This is neat. I can just rest the pointer on a style and Excel shows me what it would look like in the worksheet before I apply it. I think I'll try Heading 1. That looks good, but now the text doesn't fit in the column. I could resize the column, but I want to wrap the text instead. No problem. In the Alignment group, I click the Wrap Text button. That's much faster than the old way of going to the Format Cells dialog box. If you're feeling nostalgic, though, you can still use the dialog box. Just click this arrow in the corner of the alignment group, and there it is. By the way, it's good to remember that arrow. Anytime you see an arrow in a group, it will bring up a dialog box or a task pane with additional options you can pick from. Okay, moving on. This worksheet contains rows of products from various suppliers. I see that I need to add a column for product categories. First, I click in the supplier column. Then, in the cells group, I click the arrow on insert. On the menu that appears, I click Insert Sheet Columns. That's done. Now I type the column heading and fill in the data. Now I'll move to the Quantity column because I want to add up all these numbers. I put the insertion point in cell C46. In the Editing group, I click the Sum button. And there's the total. I'd like to print this worksheet now. I'm already in Page Layout View where I can see that the worksheet doesn't have a header. That's easy to add, though. I just click there and start typing the text right in place on the worksheet. Notice that Excel automatically added the header and footer tools and the design tabs. 
They came up just to help me format the header I'm adding. When I'm not working with a header or footer, the tabs go away so that they are not competing for my attention with the other tabs I use more often. You'll discover that there are more tabs like the header and footer tools and design tabs that show up only when you're working with specific features. Want to add a footer? Just scroll down and add the footer you want here. Now let me experiment with margins by going to the Page Layout tab. Watch what happens to these areas when I click Margins, and then click Narrow. Now, Wide. Oops, the Wide setting forces the worksheet to break across pages. I think I'll stick with the normal margins. I'm ready to save this file, so I'll use the Save button here on the Quick Access Toolbar. You can undo or repeat your last action from here, too. And you can customize this toolbar with other buttons you want inside at all times. I'll click Save, and then save my worksheet in the new default file format. You can learn more about that and the other file formats by clicking the link in the article associated with this demo. Another area you can investigate on your own is this menu. Some of these commands will look familiar, and some are new. In fact, this is where you go to see the options previously available from the Options command on the Tools menu. So, we've taken a few laps with the new Excel, but there's much, much more to admire about its efficient design and great performance. Take it for a spin and feel the speed.